Taking him out of batting practice. Drills this ball toward the gap, and that's trouble. Goes all the way to the wall. Johnny Gomes rounding third, and there'll be no play at the plate. Cespedes drives in the first run of the ball game with a two-out double to left center. Cespedes has as much power as anybody on this team. I was talking to Chili Davis, their hitting coach before the game, and he says he is getting better and better as a hitter, understanding hitting, understanding his abilities, his strengths, and this time this looks like a changeup that's a little bit too much of the plate. Line drive, left field, Travis Snyder overcuts it off and boots it. Norris will come around third and score, and now the ball gets away from Vizquel, but Laurie's there to back it up. Travis Snyder didn't cut that ball off, and Norris was going to stop at third. He went over, cut, got to it, went off his glove, and then once the ball got away from Snyder, Mike Gallego sent the runner home. Change up, and it's ripped in the left field. Told you Chris was going to be ready. Line drive to right. Anthony goes back. This ball is off the top of the wall. One run is in. Coco Chris comes in to score. Reddick slides into second with an RBI double. The ball was about a foot from being a three-run home run. You're right. The ball was hit hard. He just needed a couple more feet. He would have had his 22nd home run. Josh Reddick showing some outstanding power. Three and two, one out. Carter takes the walk, and Johnny Gomes will come across. It's 5 0 Oakland, and John Farrell has already made the call to the bullpen. That's what that whole premise of that money ball was, also, that you can take a lot of pitches, have a good on base percentage. Ball is drilled down the left field line. That ball is a fair ball and bounces off the one. Reddick is in. Cespedes right behind him. Carter will stop at third. Brandon Inge with a two-run double. Base hit right field. Carter is in to score. Inge will stop at third as Norris picks up an RBI. Bouncing ball. Brett Lorry will look at home. Goes to first for the out. Pitch picks up an RBI. Just the second out of the inning. And Oakland has tied their season high with eight runs in the second inning. They have an outstanding record. That ball is hit high and deep to right. Anthony goes up on the wall. This one's not coming back. Now they've hit a home run. Coco Crisp, his fourth home run of the season. It's 10 nothing, Oakland. Watch the location. 1-0 fastball right down the middle for Crisp. And he's got some pop. Just his fourth home run. You make a mistake and he can launch one. The ball is hit high and deep to right field. Coco Chris, his second home run of the night. A three-hit night for Chris with two home runs. His fourth and fifth homers of the season. Something about Drew Carpenter for Coco Chris, and he likes it. His first batter that he faced, Carpenter, it was Coco Chris, but he took him deep. That was in the third inning, and now not wasting any time. First pitch he sees here in the fifth inning. Same pitch, same result. High and deep to right field for another home run. Gomes can play first, third, the outfield. Chris Carter rides one high and deep to left, and this ball is gone. Chris Carter, his sixth home run of the season, third home run of the night for Oakland. A solo home run comes with one out in the sixth. That ball is going to shoot the gap and go all the way to the wall. Seth Smith is around third. He's headed for home and the throw will be late as Smith slides in. Mathis blocked the plate. Smith got there before the ball got to Mathis. 
the Athletics have scored another run. Bouncing ball. Vizquel will go to first. Espinas comes in to score. The 14th run of the night. Brandon Hicks swings and misses at the Mathis fastball. Hicks hitting 156. He drove in and run tonight. Had a ground ball to the third baseman to run to score. He's got to be figuring also. Hey, everybody else is getting hits tonight. And he has one now. Yep. He's going to get a double down the left field line. Derek Norris jogs around third and comes in with the 50 A's run of the night. This is his fourth pinch hitting at bat. And he lines it into right. That'll chase home Brandon Hicks. Moss picks up an RBI, his second pinch hit RBI of the season. And now, if it stays like that, the Blue Jays. You were mentioning those 15 to nothing games. Now 16 zip. Now if it remains a shutout, it'll be the largest shutout loss in Blue Jays franchise history.